Hello friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today's little part of our project is the back panel of our giant Harry Styles cardigan. It's oversized, it's huge, and this is the back panel. Look at that. It's huge. Seven wide by four tall. If you think this is just way too big, just take out one of one of the columns and make it six by four instead. Because I'm leaving it very big because I know that Lily's going to think it's just hilarious that it's so huge. But it's supposed to be oversized. But what I'm going to show you today is how to do our ribbing on the very bottom. Here's our back panel. And the way that I have this all drawn out is that our ribbing is going to go right here. And the ribbing went here on our front panels. If you put, you put your front panels together already, this is going to be a piece of cake and it will not take very long at all. So I want to work on this side, right here. Green, orange, red, yellow, green, the jacquard, and a black at the end. So here's our little panel right here. And again, this was seven by four. If you think this is super too wide, take one of those out, whichever one you want. Because it is kind of wide. If you're super tiny, you might want it to be a tiny bit smaller. So remember, we put a row of red all along the bottom, 19 stitches, like we started and ended on each one of our squares, 19 on each, so 19 times 7 is 133. If you take out one of the rectangles, then it's going to be 19 times 6, and that would be 114, and that's how many red ones you want to have along this edge, so we can attach our ribbing. See, I told you I was going to make this as easy as possible. If you already did your front panels, which you should have last week, this is easy peasy. The only thing that's different about it is the length. It's still the same width. It's still the same height. It's still the spike. And it is right here. See, it's just longer. So we are going to make this ribbing and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. All right, make a slip knot, and I have my four millimeter hook right here, my little four millimeter prim. You've seen it a zillion times. My pink prim is one of my favorites. So we want to chain 11, just like we did with the other one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. So now I have just have a little chain of 11, and we need to make it this long now. So we're going to turn it over for our very first row. We turn over and you find all these little back bumps right here. We want to do one single crochet in each one of these little back bumps to give ourselves a very nice finished edge. So you will end up with 10 single crochets all the way down. So we chain 11 and 10 single crochets, one in each back bump for our very first row. And here is my last stitch. And that was row one. Ten single crochet. Easy peasy. Right there. That's all we need. Alright, now the next row we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to be working into the back loops only except for on the very outside two stitches. We want to go through both loops just to make it a little bit more sturdy. So here we're going to go through both loops in single crochet and now we're going to work in the back loop only. So here's our full front loop, here's our back loop. We want to work in the back loop only with a single crochet all the way down till our very last stitch. So there's one and then find this back loop and this back loop. There's my last back loop because there's my last stitch. This last stitch we want to have our stitch, our single crochet is going to go on both loops. So under both loops, turn over, pull through, and single crochet. There was row two and that was so easy. So again, we had to do our math here. We're going to do all the way across the bottom of this. 19 times 7 is 133. If you make it smaller, it's 19 times 6 is 114. So there was row 1 and 2. Row 2 through row 132. So you want to have a clicker around. 
have a clicker around to keep track of those rows so you don't have to count them all the time. Those are all going to be that back loop only that we were doing. So again, chain one, turn our work. The very first stitch will go under both loops, but in the back loop of the ones in the middle. Back loop only, single crochets. And there's our last one. We go with through both loops and single crochet. So again, that was rows 2 through 132. All the way down. So I just worked this up a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. I didn't need it to be too big. So I've done that this is this long. 132 rows long now. There's row 1 and then there was row 2 through 132. And then we're going to do row 133. 133 is a chain one, turn your work, and all the way down we're just going to do it normal single crochets. Single crochet all the way down. Gives a nice finished edge that matches our first side. Matches our very first chained row, row one, that we worked in the back bumps. Now they match, so it looks pretty. And one more stitch. Now the next thing we want to do, we want to put a nice finished edge on the top here so we can join easily. So again, that's easy. We're going to chain one. But now we're going to start working along the top of our ribbing. We want to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way along here so we get to 133 because that's how many we need to match up here right here and here. These are going to match up. So 133 here and 133 here. So we did our chain. Now we're going to do a single crochet. Just all the way along evenly, just making sure that you have the right stitch count. Be 133 for the seven wide panel. And if you made it a six wide panel because you thought it was just too darn big, then you need 114. And there you go, that's all you need to do. So I'm not going to do 133 rows, I already did! So all I have to do is attach it to this, and again, I made it so easy. I promised I would make it easy, and I did. I'm going to put these wrong side up. So here's the wrong side, and you can see that this is the wrong side because you can see the other work we've done at joining right in here. You want to be looking at this. You're going to see this because we're going to join this ribbing to the bottom panel in exactly the same fashion. So again, we want to use our red, and this was my big twist value because I think this is pretty soft and its price point is amazing for this much yarn. I get 380 yards in this skein, which is a lot. I think that's great. Four weight. And this one is deep red. Here's my red and here is my starting point. Easy to find because it's bright red on the green. And then we want to go through our very first stitch on our ribbing along the top that we did. Go through the loop that's closest to you, just the very front loop, loop that's closest to you on the ribbing and the loop that's the furthest away, so the back loop on the back panel. Fasten on our red. Now do the exact same thing in the next stitch. Go through the front. Just pull through your red for the first stitch. Go through the very front loop, the very closest front loop, and then on the back panel we want to go through the furthest loop away. And now we're just going to pull through and slip stitch. We'll do that again. Right here we got the front loop only, the very closest loop, and the very furthest loop of the next stitch on the back panel. 
yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch, and do that all the way down. And here's my last few stitches. Go through the front, and through the back, and a slip stitch. I only have a couple left. Two left. Last one through the front loop and through the back loop. Pull through and slip stitch. Hooray! Let's pull through and now we can just fasten this off. Snip! So simple and so easy and your stitch count matches up so you don't have to worry about using a needle and finding out that oh my ribbing is way too long or I have it's all bunched up right here. Everything is going to be just easy peasy perfect. Yay! Next time we're going to do sleeves. They're a little bit trickier, but not really that hard. And you have to make two of them, so it's harder than this one just because you have to make two. But thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back very soon. Thanks. Bye.